running down the bench and say something, but coach's ability to manage certain guys was, was much, much better. Uh, <laughs> even in a great XL. Yeah, it, it, uh, I don't mind. We'll close with this story. Randolph Childress, who was talking about, we were playing Alabama at Alabama in Randolph's freshman season. And, you know, we just had a really good recruiting year. Rodney Rogers and Randolph and we just, uh, Trelawney Owens. We just had really good players coming in. And uh, we weren't a good team yet, but we were going to be. And uh, we were playing there in Alabama. Actually, let me back up a year. We, we had played Alabama in our place my first year there. And uh, it was the last game before Christmas. And we were not a good team. And we didn't have children. We had other players that didn't know how to win at that time. They learned. We got better. But we were playing in Jewel Coliseum in West Sec. And last game before Christmas, we're playing Wimp Sanderson in Alabama. And they had Robert Ory and all those guys. I mean, ain't no way we beat them. We did. It was the last game before Christmas. I mean, like two days. And uh, I heard, Wimp's a good friend of mine, I heard he went to the locker room. He hit that lock and hit the, 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 the chalkboard and cracked it. Hollis and Dave Hobbs, who was his assistant, said, Count all that! Your, your, your tickets home. We ain't gonna have no Christmas going back home. It's the worst loss of my career. <laughs> well, the story had it. He relented when he got on the plane and went home, and he let them go home for Christmas. I get a Christmas card or a note from him back maybe two weeks later. And he said, David, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> he said, David, I got a note from one of your most fervent fans. His name was, and he gave me the guy's name. I didn't know. And it said, from the Wake Forest fan to win, he said, Jesus loves you. <laughs> but everybody else thinks you're an asshole. <laughs> I hate putting that on the table. <laughs> the next year, the game he's talking about, we're a much better team, and they're still a good team. We're playing in Tuscaloosa. And uh, Randolph did not start as a freshman, but I put him in sometime first or second first and the second quarter, or maybe with 10 minutes to go in the pass, something like that. And he goes in, and he throws up a jumper, and he makes it. And he goes to the next possession, he comes right back over to this corner like he got his team. He throws the ball, and put the ball to him, and he throws up a first side jumper. <laughs> the other one he made was not. He came off of offense. He throws up his first side jumper, and he sees me, and I think he's he throws that thing up and he sees me. I turn to Wayne right there. Get him out of there. You know, like that. Take that jump right here. Take it. Get him out of there. And he, he takes the jumper and he keeps right on going. <laughs> he knows it ain't going in. He knows he's coming out. <laughs> and that was that was kind of uh, Randolph's legacy. Did he always believe the next one was going in? So that's it. And I think the whole thing was went up a year before whenever we got that card. <laughs> I still ask you about that every now and then. Thank you. Appreciate it.